I'm Danielle Cook and I want to welcome you to Cooking with the Cook Sisters, brought to you by the United States Botanic Garden. We're very pleased to be with you regularly to offer online cooking demonstrations and home garden tips. So, what's on today's menu? A gratin of root vegetables. And Adrian and I will be foraging for Christmas decorations. So let's get started. I'm going to start by prepping up our celery root. Celery root, or celeriac, is a cousin to the branch celery you're more familiar with. With a good paring knife, remove the branches, and sometimes your grocer has already done that, and remove the peel. Celery root is grown for the bulb, and the greens are bitter, so we don't use them. Choose a celery root that is very firm. You want to remove all the rough skin and any little knots that sometimes burrow inside the root. Celery root tastes like celery. It has a mild, creamy flavor. Next is our rutabaga. Rutabagas are crossed between a turnip and kale. They come in a variety of sizes. They can have anywhere from a gold to a purplish color. With a good paring knife, remove the thick outer skin and the next layer, the pale rind. I'm using Yukon Gold Potatoes today, by far the easiest of the three vegetables to peel. Root vegetables are a great source of fiber, minerals, and vitamin C. My food processor is going to do the heavy lifting to cut everything into thin rounds. Depending on the size of your root vegetables, you may need to preemptively cut them in half. I'm deliberately going to layer these separately, the celery root first seasoned with a bit of fresh garden thyme and some salt and pepper. The rutabaga next. And the top layer are potatoes. The combination of these three vegetables complement each other beautifully. The final dish will be creamy and sweet and almost fluffy. Once the vegetables are all layered, I'll finish it off with some more salt and pepper and thyme and pour half and half over the whole thing. It goes into a 400 degree oven uncovered for a total of approximately one hour. But we'll check in on it every 20 minutes. Pressing with a spatula will help the vegetables absorb the cream. Later on, you'll see the cream start to bubble, and it's time to give it another push. And then, add some Swiss cheese. Our gratin is ready when the cheese has melted, and it's nicely brown and bubbling. And now, check out what Adrian and I did last week. I went to visit Adrian in the country. We wanted to scout her property for Christmas decorations. Off we go into the woods, making plenty of noise to keep the bears away. We're on the lookout for greenery and berries, uh, mushrooms and vines that might work for making wreaths. Growing in the moist ground by the edge of the stream, lush ferns. These are a real find. They'll keep their green color for a long time as long as they're in water. I only pick the ferns on my own property. If I was to go foraging on somebody else's property, I would have to ask permission. This is a really important rule. We pick the ferns judiciously, one from one plant, another from a different plant. We found some beautiful twisty vines. There are actually multiple vines that have braided together to form this beautiful pattern that we're now going to take up and make into a wreath. These small hollies are native to the Piedmont. If they were growing at the edge of the forest where they got more sun, they would grow to a quite a good height, 20, 30 feet tall. Here again, I'm being very judicious, just taking a few small cuttings from the holly. 
Towards the end of our walk, we spotted some bright red barberries along the stream. And, lucky me, I was the one who got the thorny job of cutting them. Back up at the house, we spread out the loot to split it up. Our intertwined vines are going to make lovely wreaths. Logs that have really beautiful fungus growing on them are going to be drilled for candle holders. We have plenty of greenery from the holly and of course from the ferns. And the bright red barberry that Danielle rescued from the edge of the stream. We'll clip off the thorns so they won't hurt us when we use them in arrangements. Our day in the woods was both fun and bountiful. What a great day.